So we've entered our time into the iPhone app. We now need to sync it to QuickBooks. To do that, we need to enter export a timer IIF file from QuickBooks and enter some details. So open QuickBooks, select the file, timer, and export lists for timer. Next, choose a location to save that IIF file and click save. Now we'll go and we'll open that file and view the data. So using Notepad, we open the timer IIF file. Now the fields that we're interested in are the company name and the company create time, which is this field here. It consists of a 10 digit number. So what we're going to do is we're going to put those two values into the iPhone. So back in the iPhone sync screen, we enter the employee name as it appears in QuickBooks. We enter the company name as it appears in the timer IIF file. In the one in the examples we're using here, it's Dremoyne Design and we enter the company create time. That's the 10 digit number that we found in the timer IIF file. Once that's done, we can now select pending export and export those time entries to a click on email and it creates an email with an attachment of a QuickBooks IIF file. We're now going to send to our QuickBooks administrator to import into QuickBooks. So we now receive the mail back in on our desktop into our mail client. We can double click that. And we've received an email from um, the iPhone with the attached QuickBooks IIF file, which contains the time entries that we're now going to import into QuickBooks on the desktop. So we'll save that file, the desktop. So in QuickBooks, we select File, Timer, Import, we save, to save to the desktop. And the data has been successfully imported and we can view the report. And there we have time that's been exported from the iPhone and it's now within QuickBooks. And you can see that actually on the timesheet itself. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to enter timesheets into your Z Timesheet app. So when you open the app, you'll see this summary page which shows you what activities you have are currently timing and those that you've already completed. So let's add a new entry to this table. So we're going to tap on the plus button. We'll select the customer job or customer that we're working if it's not in this list, we can very easily add it. We'll then select a service item or the type of work that you're doing. Whether the time activity is going to be billable or non-billable. And then we have the choice of using a timer or selecting the start and end times for that activity. So we're going to choose a start time and then pick the end time. And it will calculate the duration for you. Finally, we'll enter some notes for the work that we were doing and tap on done. You can now see the new time entry has been added into the table. Just to see how much work we've done, we can tap on the time entry at the bar at the bottom, we'll click on the stopwatch, and it'll show you the total duration of the activities that we've completed so far. If you're running items on the timer, click on that button, you can actually see the elapsed time displayed in the screen here, as well as the work 
the client that we're working for and the type of work that we're doing. We have the option to save and to pause those time entries if we need to. So let's say we've now finished this particular activity, we'll save and record that activity. And you can see here the entries being put in. You also now have the ability to modify or edit these time entries. By clicking on the edit button, we can go through, and we can change any of the details that we like. And done. So that's just how easy it is to enter time into the Z Time Sheeps app.